Hi, I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell, and in this lecture, we're going to continue our discussion on symbolic logic, and specifically in this discussion, we're going to talk about statement logic and uh, sort of the basic function of truth tables. So this discussion is going to be about statement logic and the basic function of truth tables. Okay, um, any statement that's made, if the statement is said to be, uh, ha or to have truth functionality, so let me start it again, any statement that's made, if that statement is said to have um, truth functionality, then the truth fun functionality of that statement is either going to be true or false. So for example, I can make the statement, I can make the statement that today, is Saturday. Okay. I can make the statement today is Saturday. This statement is either going to be true if today is Saturday or if it's not Saturday it'll be false. So for this one statement this statement is either going to be true or this statement is going to be false. Pretty basic. So in discussing uh, truth tables and sort of the, the logic of statements or statement logic, which is abbreviated SO, any statement which has truth functionality, which has truth functionality, meaning it can be verified, um, is either going to be true or the statement is going to be false. Okay, that's pretty basic. Okay. So now in discussing um, the truth functionality of statements, we can then start to think about how is this symbolized with respect to the discussion we had in our last uh, discussion on symbolic logic. Remember, we said in symbolic logic, there's a few things that we can talk about. We can talk about the conjunction, and I write it over here actually. We can talk about conjunction You can talk about conjunction, which is represented by that, and it's sort of the and. So it's like A, remember in our last example, A and B, right? So it's represented by this symbol, and you can talk about the union of A and B. So that's one. Then the next thing that you can talk about is a disjunction. And a disjunction is represented by A or B. So the conjunction is the combination A and B. The disjunction is represented by um, the um, fact that either it's A or it's B. Conjunction, disjunction. Then we have the conditional statement. You have the conditional, which remember we said it's A. If A happens, then B will happen. If A happens, then B will happen. And then what I'm going to do, uh, discuss today, which I didn't discuss in um, the previous lecture on symbolic logic, is what's known as the biconditional. Bi. And the biconditional is represented by A if and only if B. So if this happens, this happens, and also if this happens, this happens. Okay, so we have the conjunction, disjunction, conditional, biconditional. We discussed, and I've given you examples using, uh, you know, um, hypothetical syllogism, modus ponens, modus tollens, disjunctive syllogism, and conjunction in the last, um, in the last lecture. So you should be familiar with sort of how these are constructed. What we're going to do now, however, is that we're going to check these uh, statements and we're going to formalize it using a, a, a basic truth table. All right, so what we're going to do is talk about a truth table. If we're talking about, let's say, P, 
And we're also talking about not P. Well, what are all the possibilities for the truth functionality of P that we can possibly have? Well, remember in the example that I just gave you, if the statement says that today is Saturday, and we label that statement P, the statement today is Saturday, will label as P, then either that statement today is Saturday, which is labeled as P, is true, or that statement today is Saturday, which is labeled as P, is false. That should be very simple. That's easy to understand. It's going to get a little bit more complicated as we move along, but I'll go slowly. The next thing to realize is that we can speak of, and you guys should be familiar with the symbol now, the tilde, it's not P. Okay, well if we're saying it's not P, then it has to be the reverse, right? Because already what we're saying is that it is not Saturday, right? We're saying it is not Saturday. If the statement is today is Saturday, and we represent that by P, then what we're saying is today is Saturday, uh, it is not Saturday. So if I want the statement then to say that today is Saturday, I have to represent P by a false claim. Does everybody see that? So if the claim is today is not Saturday, and I have a not in front of it, then what I'm really saying is today is not not Saturday, which is the same as saying today is Saturday. And then finally, true. So what you'll see is that this is the same, right? If I represent this uh, negation with a false claim, then it effectively maintains um, the structure of the truth table, right? So where you have P, it's true and false. Where I have not P, it's false and then true. Okay, so that's the first step. Now what you want to do 